Hello YouTube, got that funk here. Um, on my way home from work I picked up the London Evening Standard, which is something most people riding the train home from work do here in London. And um, <clears throat> I was surprisingly taken aback. Uh, I feel winded um, at the news. I found out on my way home tonight that this morning Tony Benn died at the age of 88. Now if you're not a resident of the UK or um, particularly aware of UK politics, you probably have never heard of Tony Benn. I certainly never heard of him until I moved to this country in 1989. Um, Tony Benn was a labor politician. He was a socialist from the old school. And uh, he was definitely a man of convictions who was completely unafraid to speak his mind regardless of whether or not that went against the political zeitgeist of the time. Uh, Tony Benn was responsible personally for me um, learning that socialism isn't necessarily something to be afraid of, that there are good reasons to adopt a socialist model. And uh, I'm sure a lot of people, especially UK residents, will have a different opinion of Tony uh, Benn because Tony Benn was a controversial figure. Uh, you know, many people would say he was too far to the left, too much of a socialist. Um, I'm not going to sit here and do a biography of his accomplishments or whatever. I always respected the fact that Tony Benn um, relinquished his position, his title of Viscount so that he wouldn't have to sit in the House of Lords so that he could serve his constituents by being voted into power rather than by inheriting power. Um, he was definitely a man of deep convictions. He tried to live up to them. He was one of the very few politicians that I ever actually looked up to. Um, and it's my opinion that uh, a light has gone out and we are all diminished by his departure from this earth. So, um, a toast to those of you who sympathize with the uh, feelings I'm talking about and who shared my regard for Tony Ben. Um, here's to you and here's to Tony, a life very well lived. Cheers.